Well, this is my favorite time of the year. I know a lot of people love fall as well, and we sort of celebrated it at the beginning of September, the start of meteorological fall, when parts of the country start to experience real changes with respect to weather, weather patterns. However, for us in Alabama, we're kind of all over the map. We had uh, a return of summer and a few peaks of fall here and there. But we can officially start fall, not necessarily fall-like weather, but the official beginning of fall with the autumnal equinox that is coming up Monday, September 22nd. So a refresher, what the heck is an equinox? Oh, it just simply means equal, and it's talking about daylight. Because of Earth's tilt of 23.5 degrees, as we orbit about the sun, different times of the year, there's more of a concentrated focus of sunlight on different latitudes. Well, twice throughout the orbit, the sunlight is most direct, uh, or is most evenly distributed, I should say, uh, across the northern and southern hemisphere. There will be 12 hours of sunlight, 12 hours of darkness from north to south pole on the 22nd of the month. So, this happens one other time, it's in the spring, it's called the vernal equinox. But unlike in the spring, we are in a cooling process. So if we have the same amount of daylight hours on the equinox in the fall as we do in the spring, why such a significant difference in temperatures? Our average high, central Alabama, for this time of the year is 84. Well, back in March, same daylight, 69 degrees. How the heck is that? Well, pretty simple when you start to think about it. We are coming off of some of the longest daylight hours of most direct sunlight of the year. Since really late May into June, we've had direct sunlight. The solstice was the 21st. We have 14 plus hours of daylight in June and July alone. So it's a slow process. The ground is absorbing the sun's energy. It's warming and there's a delay. Our hottest day of the year is not on the solstice. It's usually three to five, seven weeks after in July as well as into August. So it's a cumulative process. We do eventually cool off, and we'll see a much more significant change here over the next month or so as that sun angle decreases. That's the height the sun is in the skies. It gets lower and lower. The solar radiation is less and less powerful, and it's a snowball effect as far as cooling. So what can we expect here? Well, day after we officially welcome in fall, average high is 84. By the end of October on Halloween, the average high is 70. That puts our morning lows in the 40s, and we will absolutely see a big swing in temperatures throughout the month of October as daylight, again, gets shorter. Speaking of, 12 hours, 7 minutes, no matter where you are in central Alabama, here's our sunrise and sunset times for Monday. And just for the record, the official equinox is calculated by somebody much smarter than myself, is at 1.19 p.m., that is central time, as uh, we look ahead to the equinox. So that is a look at what it means. We'll be cooling in no time for now. Enjoy these lovely 90s that just won't seem to go away. Y'all have a great day.